Yo, what's up fam? I told myself that I was going to vlog more this year. <laughs> so, I guess it's the start of me attempting to vlog more. I don't know if y'all can hear me because it's kind of windy. I'm actually um, at work right now. But today's video, I'm going to go over my top five free apps, audio units to use um, inside of Beatmaker 3. Um, if you don't have a budget for paying for applications or audio units, these are top five free applications that you can use and get started with making beats inside of Beatmaker 3. So, okay, top five free apps that you want to use as audio units uh, inside of Beatmaker Really? <laughs> okay, top five free apps that you want to use inside of your DAWs on iOS. Um, the first one we're gonna start with is Primer. I use Primer a lot um, in the beginning for my workflow. I used Primer a lot in, in the beginning of my workflow on uh, iOS because it has a lot of really, uh, really good synth patches in here. And the reason why I like Primer is because it has a bunch of different um, it has a dump, bunch of different onboard controls and the interface is really easy to uh, navigate through and and to understand there's so many different parameters that you can map um, with your MIDI keyboard and uh, all your macros and stuff like that so I use these for a lot of leads and a lot of bases and stuff like that so um, yeah primer is pretty good the next synthesizer that's free that I want to talk about is actually synth master player um, Synth Master Player has over 800 sounds, 800 presets that you can uh, use inside of your DAWs. Before when I talked about Synth Master, when I talked about what's on my iPad, I don't think they had a audio unit. Um, I don't think it was available as an audio unit just yet, but it is now available as an AUV3 audio unit plugin. So, so you can use this inside of your DAWs like Beatmaker 3 or um, GarageBand or Aria Pro or whatever you use. Um, you can use this inside of your DAW in multiple instances. Um, you can use all of these applications inside of your DAW um, as audio unit plugins. Synth Master Player has an on screen XY um, pad. It has actually two of them that do um, two different things. You have your filter cutoff and you have your filter resonation. Um, and the on-screen controls on here with all your oscillators and all that stuff and all your reverb effects and stuff it's really easy to find and really easy to uh, navigate through as well just like uh, primer you have all this stuff on screen and ready to go right off hand now there are some pro features on here that you can uh, pay for but you really probably won't really need them because of all the control that you have inside a synth master player you can scroll through all of your uh, presets um, by using the uh, navigation um, the navigation buttons at the top right hand corner. They have a lot of really dope arpeggiators that I like to use. Um, and, and then you can control these uh, and you can control a lot of these real time with the X, Y, Z, X, Y, and Z pads on the uh, inside the dog. So that's something I really like to use too. Another application that I always talk about is actually the Roly Noise application. Um, I use this a lot in Beatmaker 3 because of, because of the included sounds and the included controls inside of um, the Roly Noise app. Um, this application also supports MPE. So if you have a DAW that supports MPE control, then you have a, a controller like this or you know the Roly Seaboard block or whatever it is, you can you can use those uh, you can use the sounds inside the Roly Noise app to uh, control. You can use those controllers to control your MPEs and you know live performances and stuff like that. And the Roly Noise app also includes its own uh, version of the uh, audio unit so that you can use it inside of your dogs and stuff like that too. There are in-app purchases uh, that you that you have available. Some of the sound packs are really, really cheap inside the Rolling Noise app. Even if you don't have the budget to spend on uh, any you know sound libraries or anything like that or any apps, you can uh, really add add to your library um, 
and peace and peace libraries together for like as low as like three dollars i've seen some really dope uh, i've seen some really dope sound packs on um the rolling noise app for as low as like three four dollars so you can really start building a, a really solid foundation and solid uh, library with the rolling rolling noise app as well as the already built in sounds on there are really dope i talked about that in my other video on how to make um how to get started making beats for free on your ipad or on your ios device um so check that video out too uh, another free one is um basilicious and that's actually one of my go-to um applications for i mean it's in the name so <laughs> that's one of my go-to applications for uh bases so you can download that for free and then you can try out all your bases and stuff like that and you can actually use uh some of the uh, presets inside of your daw um, with the audio unit extension. However, there are some more presets available. If you want those, you will have to pay the, uh, the in-app uh, purchase price. I think it's like, right now, it's like maybe uh, $10 or something like that. Um, but Basilicious is actually a really dope, uh, a really dope free application to have in your arsenal. That's, that's my go-to application for bases and um, you know just any any synth bass or any or any bass leads or anything like that that you need bass delicious hands down one of the best they actually just came out with bass delicious 2 um and an update for it so uh you might want to check that out too that one's not free but yeah you can get a feel for how bass delicious is um it's one of my go-to's for for that so and last but not least i want to talk about the uh, Synth One app from Audio Kit. This is one of the dopest free applications, and what makes it so dope is that it's open source. Meaning that if you want to, they give you the tools to create your own, um, your own application, your own uh, synth app, and your own synth library. Create your own sounds and really dive into the developer part and sound design part of iOS uh, music making. And the sound libraries in Audio Kit Synth One are amazing. Like these, this is one of my go-to. Um, this is my number one on the list. This is one of my go-to uh, synthesizer apps for arpeggi arpeggiators. Um, you can use these for pads and even you know basses, uh, leads. There's so many dope sounds in Audio Kit Synth One, and all of the presets that come in it are really full, really lush really um you know really beefy so i don't really have to do a whole lot of play they take the the, the thinking they take a lot of the, the the guesswork out of uh, sound design because all the presets are really fat and you know punchy so i find myself actually using the presets as is um i don't do a whole lot of tweaking inside of audio kit synth one because you know it just works again all the oscillators and all the you know tuning and you know every all the controls are just there so if you really needed to dive deep and, and really get into sound design inside of audio kit synth one you really have all that stuff at your fingertips and like i said it's open it's open source so if you really wanted to um dive deeper deeper <laughs> into audio audio sound design inside of ios this will this will be a great start really just as a template as a whole to really figure out how you want to uh, get started with with your sound design and audio uh, samples and stuff like that so that is my list of the top my top five um, audio unit plugins for iOS um, and you have a good range for all the you know either the starter synths like primer um, to even more professional sounding kits uh, like like the audio kit synth one synthesizer more professional sounding um, and it's still free and you know if I if I missed any uh, applications that you guys think should have made the list you know let me know in the comments that was just my list of apps that I know about and um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video